A guidi ushla toshiv galer, falcha on sha anokt. Ta ana hosarim, vehan sha liv, agus ta suligam gamunav tanav asan asan ihe anokt. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're all extremely welcome here this evening to this very special event uh, organised by Yates Society Sligo as part of the Peace for programme. I then mentioned East Belfast Mission in an interview. They were inundated by people from their own staff, people who lived locally, who said, here, we want to go to your Irish class. And there was no Irish class. It had been a six-week taster six months before. They approached me. We started a class. It was only meant to last for 10 weeks. It took a life of its own. And that's what happened. It just took a life of its own. At the beginning, 99% of our learners were from the unionist community. But over the years, that's changed. This year, we signed up over 270 people for classes, and about 65 to 70% of them were from the unionist community. What I witness is people sitting down together, learning together, laughing together. People at home sometimes tell me that the language is divisive. That's not what I see. In fact, I see the opposite. I see people going over into West Belfast, from East Belfast. I see people coming from West Belfast into East Belfast. People who have never been in West Belfast, people who have never been in East Belfast, because they love the language and they want to engage more with it. It has just created cross-city traffic as far as I'm concerned. And that's what we're trying to do. And we're trying to raise awareness of the shared linguistic history that we have. So what do we do? Well, we have about 14 or 15 classes a week and very, very large numbers. Our learners are mostly adults, but we also teach children as well. We have a Rang Chowley, a family class for parents and children. One of the lovely stories there is one of the parents who came, and Gail came about five or six years ago. She lives on the Newton Arge Road, and she came with her daughter. They did all the, the family class stuff. She started to get involved in beginner's classes. She went on and did exams. We helped her to go to university. And this year, she gave up her job as a dinner lady, and she will be starting a degree in Irish next week, and she's going to be doing Irish and archaeology. There'll be a number of people going to the university, and I'll talk about that in a little while. This is Gail here. She's the, the one, the, um, the second one here. So we've sent people off to do diplomas, and as I said, this year there will be five people doing a degree in Irish and three people doing the diploma. So we're very, very proud of that. We're very proud that as well as the numbers growing, the language is deepening and people who never had the chance to learn Irish now are doing it, and they love it, and they engage with it. Aren't we all stolen children whenever we let the bewitching world of poetry seduce us? A stolen child. Where dips the rocky highland of sleuth wood in the lake, there lies a leafy island where flapping herons wake the drowsy water rats. There we've hid our fairy vats, full of berries and of reddest stolen cherries. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild with a fairy, hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wave of moonlight glosses the dim grey sands with light, far off by furthest rosses we foot it all the night, weaving olden dances, Mingling hands and mingling glances till the moon has taken flight. Is art of Imus Muinu Tramimimimon Agrothum Tir Smokechak Is to his Tesha Begun the mart, Maristas 
Be chidjinta 